says it'll fit a Jeep Cherokee from 84 to 01, a Jeep Comanche 86 to 92, Wrangler 07 to 15, Wrangler Unlimited 07 to 15, but nothing about a Liberty Renegade edition. It'll fit, it's still a Jeep. episode that I was going to order and try to modify. As you've seen from the opening, this part is not meant for a Liberty, but we're going to try to make it fit. So let's cut it open and see what it is. It is a front bar. It's meant to actually mount onto one of those heavy duty steel aftermarket bumpers for like Comanches and stuff like that. Or it's made to mount directly to your frame on the new Wranglers. But we're going to see if we can modify it to get it to fit on Project Renegade. So let's get started. Alright, the first thing that we want to do is take the bar slide it underneath this grill support here and we want to try to get it pretty centered pretty much centered as possible um, so then we can make some marks with a sharpie set this to the side. Next thing is going to be to take off this grill reinforcement piece. Now from what I can see it seems like there's only five bolts holding this thing on here. There's one there and then this one here. These two don't connect to it anywhere. There is one hidden back here. Uh, same thing here. But then again, these two aren't connected to it anywhere. And then this one here, that seems like that's it. And then, you know, I have to pop out these three little clips because they, they're holding this wire in here. But we'll get you set up and then we'll take this grill support off. I think they're all 10 millimeter. stopped on this one here because it's just I don't know if you can see here it's just one of those blind fasteners I guess is what you would call it and it's up against plastic so I'm going to spray it with some PB blaster real quick so we don't break anything And of course, don't forget to unhook your headlights. And there's one more sensor here. 
or I'm, I'm going to call it a sensor. Let's get in here so you can see what I'm talking about. I don't know um, exactly what what that is. So if you know what that is, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm just going to unplug it. Grill support. It's kind of weird. Um, you can get a little bit better look at the damage that happened down in there. Uh, it pushed it back pretty far, but I don't think I'm going to do anything about it. Honestly, uh, I didn't know that it was that damaged because the bumper covered it before, so the new bumper will cover it after. It drove fine. It didn't knock it out of alignment. You know, it doesn't make any funny noises. So I think I'm going to leave it uh, because it just looks like it's just in this middle section. And then the part that I'm going to be dealing with is just going to be right in here. And if it's off just slightly, well, I can put some washers or something in there. So our next step is going to be put the bar back up there and trace the rest of the way around it. All right, what we're gonna do now, I guess we're just gonna go at this pretty quickly and just have at it and see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and drill out these two holes and then I've gotta find a way to drill completely through all the way to the bottom of the cross member because it's boxed in back behind here so I can't get in there for a nut. So what I'm going to do I'm just going to use some really long bolts and go all the way through, fold it down, and then grind off the excess bolt that's sticking out. Like I said, we're not professionals around here, but it'll be on there for good, that's for sure. So I'll get you set up and we're going to drill some holes. First thing, we're going to take center punch here. Just to give us a little starting divot. And then we're going to start with a small little hole. And then I'll use my step bit to make it bigger. switch over to a step bit and make a bigger hole. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it says 3 8 in there. That's the size bolt that we're going to be using, so we're going to drill down to that size. I've devised a plan or an idea on how to make sure it's straight through. I'm just going to take my center punches, kind of eyeball it to see if it's straight up and down. Let's see if we can make a mark on the bottom. I believe we are not doing. As I expected. Can't see a damn thing. I'm not feeling any 
dent or anything here. I do not believe I have any drill bits that long. I'll be back when I have another idea. Here's a free tip. When doing a job, make sure that you always use the right tool. Because if you don't, you end up like that. That thing is going to be so bruised tomorrow. And trust me, it's just as painful as it looks. Okay, after multiple tries, I couldn't figure out a way to do it. I tried measuring it out, and it just doesn't seem right. Uh, so what I did is I just bored the hole out a little bit bigger. I went through my tools. And let me set you up and show you what I put together. Grabbed a little quarter inch. Uh, socket driver, I guess you would call, that I could put into the drill. I have took a quarter inch socket, and luckily I had these drill bits around that have the hex shaft on them, which are actually quarter an inch. I'm going to tape it together so I don't lose anything down in there, and this will actually be long enough to drill straight down and make a small pilot hole. Alright, let's give this contraption a try. Keep the drill straight. It worked. It tore all the black tape off, so I almost lost my drill bit. All right, now it's time to. Make this hole a little bigger. I gotta get in here real tight because I gotta be able to hold on to this drill because these step bits are known to twist and try to tear your arm off. Bird. Fits, but I need longer bolts. Wow, I would have swore that long of a bolt would have been enough. two holes drilled. Uh, I've still got to go get longer bolts so I can't bolt it in, but at least this will allow me to line it up and mark some holes for the other two. And yeah, if you notice there's a third hole here in the front, well, if all of this plans out, this is going to get cut off right there. It's just going to be bolted with the back too. Let's see if we can get this sharpie to work. Okay, I found what's causing the problem. We may have gotten lucky, we may not have gotten lucky. Um, the first hole, as you see, 
goes all the way through. But then inside here is the actual box of the frame, and you can see that I'm drilling into it while well, I've drilled through it. Uh, I can continue to drill through, but the problem is, is I will hit this plate that's in here for the tow hook. And it looks like it'll be right in the way of this bolt here. And I want to keep the tow hooks. So I think I'm just going to use really long bolts on the outer ones that go all the way through the big washer on the bottom. It'll be covered up. And then I'll drill that out inside there to fit the 3 8 bolt and I'll just run a shorter bolt and put a nut on it from in there. So I'll just have long on the outside and short on the inside. So I'll see if I can set you up and let you see how this works. Since everything's pretty well rusted where you know, the dents and stuff are, where the paint's flaked off, I've just taken some duct tape, masked off. I'm going to use just some cheap flat black paint to help stop the rust. We're going to paint all in here and then all along the front um, and then leave all of that because that's all still in good shape. But I need to clean some of the grease and stuff off of it first. Um, other than that, uh, should be good. Uh, I guess I'll set you guys over here and speed up and let you guys watch more exciting paint videos. That seems to be all I do. I forgot to tell you, I'm also going to blow a bunch of spray paint up inside here. time to dry so I'm just gonna peel off the green duct tape. Yeah I know I could have used painter's tape but uh, I use the crap out of this green duct tape. And there we go. All the parts that were smashed in and where the paint was flaked off has a new coat of paint and then the other stuff that was still good is still good. After removing this grill support and moving it around and yanking on it and stuff, a couple little pieces have broke. Um, and as you know, if you watched the episodes before, it was broke before um, and I re-glued it. But there's a few spots that uh, I glued. I had to glue new tabs on here. Um, I've got to come in here and clean this up and kind of just square this off. I'm doing that so I'll be able to get to the bolts for the bar. But I had to glue this piece back on. It cracked along here. Um, I had to glue this piece back on. Uh, that part that I actually glued on before broke off. But luckily I needed to cut that part off anyway again for the bolts on this side but it held here. Most of where I epoxied this stuff is actually, you know, in fairly good shape. I think I'm just gonna mix up some more epoxy and put a layer on the back side of where the stuff was broken to make it stronger. Uh, there is one spot, I'm gonna take a piece of this plastic 
as you can see right here, when the piece broke, it doesn't fit exactly back in there. Um, so I'm going to epoxy that over that. How do you like my new headlights? Actually, I got them masked off with some painter's tape because all of the epoxy is dry. And I figured, screw it, I've got an abundance of this flat black spray paint. So I'm just going to throw a coat over it. I'm really surprised. That actually kind of almost looks like a brand new piece. I didn't think it was going to come out that good. That and uh, I just received my contacts in the mail. I, uh, I never had glasses or anything and I've had bad vision. And uh, I just put in my contacts so I'm kind of walking around exploring and looking at stuff like, holy crap, look how dirty this floor is. and. Wow, you know, Project Renegade is filthy, you know, it's stuff that I couldn't see before, so now I can actually see. It's... Wow. I'm going to have to go check over all of my previous work that I've done that I thought looked good, and look at it now that I can actually see, and see if it still looks good. Okay, that's enough rambling. Just like new. Alright, now that that's on there, let's see how it fits. I think it actually slides in there real nice and doesn't hit anything. Looks like we might have done something right this time. Seems pretty solid to me. I'm just going to go around and do some measurements and make sure everything is exactly straight. And then we'll be back. Alright, one thing we have to do is cut this tab off here because otherwise the bumper won't go back on. Uh, and we don't need it anyway. So I'm going to try to just cut the majority of it off with the Sawzall and then take a grinder to it. <clears throat> But I guess we'll see if this works or not. That's loud. change wheels this is just an old flap disc that was already on here and it's just about done so I'm just gonna burn the rest of it up on this touch up where we just did the grinding I'm not even gonna 
tape that off because I don't, yeah, I'm not even going to tape that off. See, like a professional. I don't care if I get runs because I want that paint on there thick. All this is going to be covered up anyway. And I think that's it. Remember that free tip I gave you about using the right tool for the right job? Well, this is what it looks like the next day. Yep, broken thumb. Well, I guess that's the end of Project Renegade Episode 5. Uh, it doesn't seem like we got much done, but I mean, if you were actually here doing the work, uh, you would realize it was a fair amount of work. Um, I'm not quite sure what I've got planned for next episode, but, well, yeah, I kind of am pretty sure what I've got planned. Because, I mean, as you can tell, there's still quite a few pieces missing. But I guess we can give you a, a small look at what it's starting. To look like it will eventually have you know a grill and a bumper you know that's all that's all coming that's all in the works um i just work kind of sporadically and i needed all of that stuff off anyway to be able to get in here to drill these holes get this off to actually you know epoxy all the little spots and i wasn't planning on painting it but i did i'm glad i did it makes it look a lot better now that it's painted. We are going to have one dilemma though when we put the bumper on. Um, the bumper that we got is for the Renegade Edition. Of course is what this is. And the Renegade Edition had the factory fog lights so the factory bumper has little squares cut out for the factory fog lights. Well right here and here is where the factory bracket went. So the factory fog light sat out here. So there's a square right out here that's, you know, pretty far away from where this bar is going to be. So, you know, I'm just going to trim a bigger hole so that this bar can stick through. But then I've got to figure out what to do about the other hole that's going to be over here. And it's a black textured bumper, as you saw before. You know, it's not painted or anything. So, I don't know about, you know, gluing in a new piece and then sanding it down, no matter what, you're going to see it because it's not going to be painted or anything like that because it's just a raw textured bumper. So, that's another dilemma that I will have to figure out when the time comes. That's why I said I'm not quite sure what's going to be for the next episode. So, if you like this project and you want to keep up on it, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel.